All right, last problem. We've made it all the way to the end of the study guide. If you are with me from the very beginning, good on ya. Way to make it through. We have the very last one, and of course, it's a truss. So, it's gonna take us a little while, because, well, trusses take a little while. That's okay. We can do that. Um, all right, we got a pin connection over here. We got a roller over here. Uh, this is point A, point B and point C, and we'll call this guy D. We'll need that a little bit later. Um, this distance right here is 8 feet. This distance right here is 12 feet. Pardon me for not being quite the scale. Uh, and this distance right here is 3.75, just to be annoying. Go. 0.75. And alright, we're good to go. So, uh, part A asks for what three different sets of equations are considered while solving this truss? Well, some of the forces in the x have to equal zero, some of the forces in the y have to equal zero, and it should also not be rotating, so some of the moments at any point should be zero. The three forces we need, three equations we need to consider, ideas we need to consider when solving for any of this. So, let's get some reaction forces. So, we have a roller here, so there's going to be reaction force RF, uh, C in the y direction. We have a pinned connection over at B over here, so we have RF, reaction force B in the y direction. We have RF, be in the x direction. And that's it for reaction forces. Oh, we need a force applied to the top. That's right. Uh, there is 945 pounds pushing down right on the tip of this truss. 945 pounds. There we go. So now we actually will have reaction forces. So let's set it up. Forces in the x direction. RFBX. And that's it. That equals zero. Check. Awesome. Um, so, next up, forces in the y direction. We've got a few more of these. We have RF BY. We have RF CY. Um, we also have um, a negative 945 pounds boiling downward. And all that has to equal zero. Now, I can't go any farther with this because I have two unknowns here. So I'll just kind of move the 945 over to the other side of the equation. Uh, but I'm going to need a moment equation to really figure this out. So uh, I'm actually going to squeeze my moment equation up here. We're looking for force times distance. I'm going to choose to rotate around point B because it has two forces at it. So the RFBX and RFBY won't cause a moment. Why? Because it's, well, it's pushing right on that joint. There's no perpendicular distance there. So since there's no perpendicular distance, those guys will not cause a moment. But force at A will, and the RFCY will. So we have the force at A causing a clockwise uh, rotation. So I'm going to try to set this up that clockwise equals counterclockwise. All right, so FA, at what distance? And we need a perpendicular distance. So we need to think about this force acting as the line of action of that force. What's the perpendicular distance? It'll be this 12 feet right here. That's the perpendicular distance to that force. So we have FA times the distance from B to D. That's going to be equal to the only, because the only other force that we have that's going to cause a moment is RFCY. But well, that's acting at this full distance. So I have the distance from B to C. So I have RFAY and the distance from B to C. Now let's plug in the numbers we know. We know this is 945 pounds. We know the distance from B to D is 12 feet. Uh, RFAY, we don't know, but we do know the distance from B to C. 
and that is 15.75 feet. I just added them together, 15.75. So divide by that, solve for RFAY, 15.75, so RFAY equals, grab the calculator, 45 times 12 equals, divided by 15.75 equals 720 pounds. It worked out much nicer than I thought it would. All right, so that's RFAY. I need to go back and find the rest. So we have RFBX. Um, I'm sorry, not A. What am I talking about? Usually A is the pinned connection. That was RF. By that whole time, or he's sitting there listening to me say that, going, "He's crazy." That's point A, silly Mr. J. Anyways, um, all right, RFBY, seven hundred and twenty pounds, plus RFCY, which we still don't know, but we're about to find out. So RFCY subtract seven twenty from both sides. We'll give you. 945 minus 720 equals 225 pounds. That, ladies and gents, are the reaction forces for this truss. Um, I'll, in the next video, I'll do the member forces, um, but I won't make you listen through all this to get that, so uh, I'll stop it right here.